I almost forgot, I do have one more application on implicit differentiation. I want to show you how to implicitly find a second derivative. So I'm going to start out with something kind of simple. Um, x squared plus y squared equal 4. Now, let's find the first derivative of this implicitly. So we can take the derivative of x squared and just get 2x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2yy prime and the derivative of 4 respect to x is 0. Now, if you move the 2x over, you get 2yy prime equals minus 2x, and then if you divide both sides by 2y, then, of course, the 2s will cancel, and you just get minus x over y. So that's the first derivative. Now, in order to find the second derivative, I actually have to take the derivative with respect to x of the derivative of y with respect to x. Well, that means I have to take the derivative with respect to x of minus x over y. But to make things simple, I went ahead and just moved the minus over here because I can factor the minus 1 out here and just leave the minus there. So I'm going to just keep the minus here. All right, so now I can use the quotient rule to find the derivative of this quotient. So using the quotient rule, I take the bottom function, which is y, and then times the derivative of x with respect to x, which is 1, and then minus the top function, which is x, times the derivative of the bottom function, which is y prime, <clears throat> which would be y prime, and then over the bottom squared. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So then I went ahead and distributed the minus through, and so that gave me a plus xy prime minus y. And now, but here's the problem. This is actually not in terms of just, <coughs> excuse me, not in terms of just x and y, but also x, y, and y prime. But here's the clever little trick. I know what y prime is, don't I? Uh, if you go back up here, remember y prime is minus x over y. So I can go in here and replace y prime with minus x over y. So now I have x times minus x over y minus y. Okay. Now I can get rid of this denominator y by simply multiplying the top and bottom of this fraction by y. So I'm going to multiply by y over y. Well, y times this right here will give me minus x squared because the y's will cancel. And then y times this will give me y squared. And then y times the bottom, y squared times y gives me y cubed. So, you know, you can leave it like that, or if you want to, you can factor the negative 1 out of the top and write it like this with the negative on the outside. So there's how you find a second derivative using implicit differentiation. It's a little trickier than you might think because many times in the second derivative, you'll actually have the first derivative involved. So in order to eliminate that, you'll have to go back and see what the first derivative was and then substitute it back in so that your derivative would just be in terms of both x and y. Well, that's it. That's, this is a very short video, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you on that.